as this well. uh, topic you brought up millennials so you know they often get talked about right they're just people but um, yeah. do they show any sign at all of having any difference in terms of interest to own homes um, yeah. versus previous generations yeah, you know, there, there there were stories told about the boomers that weren't true. And there were stories told about the millennials that weren't true. Nobody talks about the Gen Xers, so they're apparently not very important. But uh, the, everybody said at the outset of the recovery from the 2007 to 9 period that the millennials have learned the lesson. They don't want to own a home. They've seen the foreclosures and the loss of wealth. Our surveys said, the first survey we did nationally was June of 2010. 92% of millennials said they eventually want to own a home. They're no different than any other population group with regard to wanting to own a house. The question is, what kind of house will they own? And some current things to think about is, how does the work from home uh, that we have learned during the, the COVID, how does that play out in the future? One of the things that people were concerned about was all the boomers owned these four bedroom homes in the suburbs and the millennials were getting married and having one child or maybe two, they didn't need four bedrooms. What happens to all those houses? Do prices fall? Well, now the average house price expects two incomes in the household. And if you have two working people and they're both working remotely, two of those bedrooms get converted to offices and voila, there you are, that absorbs that, that supply. And so you're seeing that, that's part of the reason sales are as strong as they are, is people are moving out. And uh, since the boomers are doing what they said they were gonna do, which is age in place, the existing home availability isn't doing the job, so the builders are building as fast as they possibly can, and that's leading to price increases in inputs and, and availability of land and all those issues. So. Millennials, no different. 